Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you have clicked on. Today we are doing update number two for my 13 by Halloween project pan. As you can guess from the title, the finale of this project will be the 31st of October. It will be Halloween for the cutoff um, and it was a four month long, long project. So we've had two months down, two months to go. This is the halfway point. If you've not seen the other videos in this project, I will link the playlist up in the eye up here for you so that you can go watch it from the beginning. Um, but if you aren't up to date and you want to just get on into this update, then stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, let's just get the really disappointing one out of the way. I didn't touch this at all last month, so this is my Davines Oi Hair Butter. So I had a really good reduction in this between the intro and month one, and I think I maybe just got a bit complacent and just didn't really touch it. Well, not didn't really touch it, just didn't touch it. Didn't use it at all through the last month, so yeah, this is what we are looking like. We're actually weighing this product, so it was 82 grams in the last update, and still weighs 82 grams in this update because I didn't use it. Definitely one that I need to make sure to use this month. I think I just got a bit complacent because I used so much of it between the intro and the first update that I just got a bit relaxed about it and thought oh this is a really, I'm going to really easily finish this within the project which I still think I will um, but I'm obviously only going to do that if I use it. I'm actually thinking to be honest there's probably maybe like two uses left in this because my hair is quite long, not that you can really tell when I've got it curled because obviously it jumps up, but it is quite long and there's quite a lot of it. And I am, as you can see from my dreadful roots, um, currently trying to like not dye it and just give it a lot of nourishment, a lot of masks and things. Um, so this actually ties in with what I'm trying to do. I've just not reached for this particular mask in the last month. Um, but yeah, I think definitely can get it used up within the project still. So. Hopefully better news by the next update. The next product that I'll talk about is my NYX After Sun. So at the introduction, this weighed 121 grams. I used quite a lot of it by the first update. I got it down to 53 grams. And I think again, I got a little bit complacent. I did still use this, we got a reduction in this. Um, we got it down to 41 grams for this update. But I did actually think it would be done by this update, which it's not, there's still product in there. It is cut open, um, which I don't think it was at the last update. So yeah, it's on its way out. I definitely think I can use it up by the next update. So I'm not too worried, but yeah, one that I need to focus on. The other body lotion that's in this project is my Gucci Guilty Body Lotion. At the introduction, this weighed 49 grams. I got it down to 40 grams for update number one. And I used it a little bit more this month, got it down to 35 grams. Obviously, still lots of product left. I think for me, because I like to use this when I'm using the corresponding perfume, that just kind of limits my times that I'm going to reach for it. I definitely need to concentrate in this one a little bit more which I think will be easier because I have finished this perfume. So this was my Jo Malone Blue Hyacinth so I didn't mark it for the introduction. This is where we were at the last update and I have now finished it completely. So I do have another perfume within this project but having had the two of them and then thinking about trying to find time to use Gucci Guilty and also having my perfume from my main project pan which I will link up in the eye if you want to go and watch that. Uh, it was quite a lot of perfumes to just have in rotation and be sort of trying to concentrate on so I think now that I have finished this one and knocked it out I will maybe be able to use Gucci Guilty and use the corresponding body lotion at the same time. Well I would have always been able to use it but I think I'll, I'll find the spot for using it more easily because more spots will have opened up.
Now to go back to my Nooks After Sun, I thought I would finish that by this update. Obviously that didn't happen, but I had said if I'd finish that by this update that I would roll something else in. And I didn't finish that, but I did finish the perfume. So I decided at the two month mark, still get halfway to go and I'm going to roll something in to replace the perfume, which is going to be another body lotion. So I will now have the Nooks body lotion, this body lotion and the Gucci Guilty one. So love body lotion, but you know, it's just, it's to force me to make the time to use body lotion, which I'm not very good at using if I've not got them in a project. So yeah, we're entering this one in. So this is what this one looks like at the moment. I did weigh this and it is entering the project at 70 grams in weight. So I'm hoping to knock that out by the end of the project and make it 14 by Halloween. The other perfume that I have got in this project, I don't actually have to hold up and show you here today, but I did bring it home and actually film it on the date of the cutaways. Um, I just then took it into work and I filmed this bit at the weekend kind of thing, but I filmed the cutaways uh, on the 31st of August. So the cutaways are the accurate one anyway, even if I'm holding it now, and it is my other Jo Malone perfume. So I didn't move it enough to actually make it worth uh, marking again. I did definitely use it a few times, but obviously not enough that the perfume went down. So you will see where the marking is on it, and I'm hoping to use it down to the equivalent place on that bottle that the writing is. It's the same style of bottle as this, it's from the same collection as this. So you can see the writing down at the bottom where it says the, the perfume name. Um, I'm hoping by the next update to have used that perfume down to the equivalent point on that bottle. Now a few other products are also in work so let's just kind of tick them off. My Kiehl's hand lotion is in work but again I brought it home and filmed the cutaway of it so I had taken that down at the introduction that was 62 grams. At update number one it went down to 49 grams and this update it went down another 10 grams down to 39 grams. I don't love the hand lotion if I'm honest but I have it in work, I keep it on my desk, I use it after I go to the bathroom and yeah I think I'll still finish it within the project. My oil control spray is also in work again sitting on my desk. I will insert the cutaway, you'll be able to see how much I've used of it. I used about the same again as I did between the introduction and update number one, so really really happy with that. I think as long as it stays on my desk for the rest of the project it will be finished by the finale, which that's what we're aiming for. My L'Oreal setting spray is also on my desk at work. That is one that I've actually just basically taken in of recent times because it's just, it's not something that I work into my everyday makeup routine. Like I'm not always looking for my makeup to last all day. It's better if I use it at work during the week when I'm doing my makeup than it is if I'm using it the two days of the weekend at home because I'm not somebody who gets up and does our makeup before work in the morning. I tend to like do my skincare and my SPF and then I get into work a little bit before I actually start and if I feel like putting makeup on that day that's when I do it is sitting at my desk so the setting spray is now in work which I'm hoping will mean for the next update there's a bit more movement on it than there was between update number one and update number two I will be inserting the cutaway so that you guys can see it the movement is slow I've had the, the product since 2016 so you can see like even from the introduction mark how long it's taken me to get to there given we're in 2022. It's a product that I like for when I need it but I don't reach for it every day. The reason for putting it in this project is because I got a second setting spray and it's not something I want to have too of in my collection so that's the only reason that I'm actually trying to move through it and use it up is not because I'm desperately wanting it out of my collection or because I think it's going bad or anything like that. I think it's actually fine even though it's really old, which seems 
strange but I suppose like alcohol is probably one of the main ingredients in it so it's probably not the sort of thing that will go off very quickly. It's not breaking me out or anything, I'm happy to keep using it but I would like to just get it moved out because now that I've got another one it's it's not a product that I want to start having more than one of because I know how slowly I move through it so yeah not the best movement but hopefully now it's in work by the next update there will be a bigger jump. Kiehl's cilantro and orange extract mask so that is now what that one is looking at so this was brand new at the introduction it was 38 grams and um, this was in my luggage that gets stuck in London uh, so it only went down two grams I only get one use out of it between the introduction and update number one but between the update number one and this update I've got to use it a few more times and I've taken it down from 36 grams to 29 grams. Really, really pleased with that. And I think looking at the amount of product that's actually left, I think it's either, it might be done by the next update. If not, it'll definitely do be done by Halloween, which is obviously the deadline. So I'm not in a mad rush to use it up, but I, th I think this could possibly be out by update number three. So we'll see what happens. Another item that was in my luggage that didn't make it back from London and that I lost a lot of time with uh, was my Colourpop Who Run This Lippy Stick which I actually was feeling really quite good about because despite the fact that I think I only got to use it for like the first 10 days of July I felt like I actually had quite a big jump on it by the time we did the end of July update when I got my luggage back which was actually the start of August but you know that if you've watched those videos and I felt like it moved like quite a decent amount given that I hadn't had it for most of the month and I think again I maybe then got a little bit complacent um, between update number one and this update because it has moved down but it's moved down by about the same again even though I had it for the whole month. Definitely hoping for a little bit more movement between update number two and update number three. I think at this point I probably have to accept I'm not going to finish it within the project which had been what I was originally I think hoping to do but do you know what I'm going to make progress on it that I wouldn't have made if I didn't put it in this project so as long as I get progress I'll be quite happy and I would just like to see a little bit more movement between this update and the next update than I saw between update one and two so that's all I'm saying for that one. One that I saw more movement on than I thought I would is my By Terry powder which again sorry don't have to hold up for you here because it isn't work but I said at the last update I was hoping by this update to have made a pan in the outer ring of it I have smashed that goal and I have also got a pan in the middle of it so I am super pleased with this one so where this leaves me now my plan is not just now but for the next update to repress the remnants of both the outer ring and the inner ring together into the middle because I think that'll be a bit easier to pick up the product particularly around the outer ring is quite difficult now to pick up but in the middle there's still a bit more product there than I think would overall make for a nice mix I would like it to be kind of 50 50 if not maybe more like 60 40 with the 60 being what's left in the outer ring so I think for the next update my goal is just to try and concentrate on the inner part of the product with the more shimmery powder try and use a lot of that so that that's got a really good pan in it by the next update and then repress all the remaining product into one to hopefully finish by the finale at Halloween so yeah I am really really pleased I didn't think I would get that pan in the middle one for this update so absolutely like over the moon that I did feeling very smug about that and yeah I'm uh, I'm feeling confident about emptying it completely by the end.
The penultimate product to update you on is my Fresh Rose Serum. So this didn't come down quite as much between update 1 and 2 as it did between the introduction and update 1 but I did say I think I want to pull back on it a little bit. I felt like my skin was a little bit congested with it and because it is a super super rich serum it's beautiful. I can feel how like soft and hydrated my skin feels when I use it um, but I do just get quite a lot of blackheads too. I, I sort of like my skin feels lovely but the and it's it's not even my nose because I kind of keep it away from my nose but I sort of get like like sort of blocked pores here type of thing with it. Yeah I did pull back a little bit but I still really really like it. I still really enjoy using it. I'm just sort of keeping it to the outer rim of my face. I'm probably not going to finish this within the project by Halloween but I think this will be out of my collection by the end of the year. And the last product to update you on is my Dior Lip Maximizer collection that has entered this project, which we're counting as one object. First one, as you can see, this was the introduction, update number one, and by update number two, this one is finished, stopper was out, I had to use a lip brush to get the end of it out, but yep, cleared this one out, very, very happy, can put this in my empties. This is where the second one is, so you saw I used that one a little bit between the intro and number one. I've taken it down to number two. I've not got the stopper out of this quite yet but I think we're probably just about at that point and because I finished the first one by the halfway mark in the project I have actually introduced a third one. I've had three of these in my collection so I will be really really pleased if by the end of the year I've taken all three of those minis out. Anyway, that is everything for this update, so thank you very much for watching. If you like Project Pan content, I will link up my 2022 Project Pan playlist. That's the tongue twister. Um, so that you can go and watch that. And if you want to watch some completed Project Pans, I will link up my 2021 Project Pan playlist and also my 12 Pans of Christmas Project pa Pan playlist from last year as well. Um, so you can go and watch them if you are in the mood for Project Panning. Uh, thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!